Need to know is one of the most fundamental security principles. According to the DOD 5200.2-R, need to know is defined as a determination made by a possessor of classified information that a prospective recipient in the interest of national security has a requirement for access to knowledge or possession of the classified information in order to perform tasks or services essential to the fulfillment of an official United States government program. The practice of need to know limits the damage that can be done by a trusted insider who goes bad. Knowledge, possession of, or access to classified information shall not be afforded to any individual solely by virtue of the individual's office, position, or security clearance. Notice that the responsibility to determine need to know is the responsibility of the individual who possesses the classified information. As someone who works with classified information, it's a decision you may have to face when you least expect it. One reason to be constantly aware of need to know is that some trusted insiders have gone bad. When this happens, careful observation of need to know helps to limit the damage. When someone looks for information that they don't need to know, it may just be simple curiosity, but that's not the only possibility. Here's an example where it's pretty clear that an insider was accessing material he did not need to know for nefarious purposes. Leandro Aragoncillo grew up in the Philippines, immigrated to the United States, and joined the U.S. Marines. During a successful military career, he was appointed the staff assistant to military advisors in the office of the vice president. At a White House function, he met the president of the Philippines, Joseph Estrada, who pocketed his business card. Sometime later, after Estrada's presidency collapsed in scandal, he had an associate contact Aragoncillo and ask for help saving the presidency. They appealed to his Filipino patriotism. Aragoncillo began stealing and passing along classified documents. After he retired from the Marines, Aragoncillo began a new job as a civilian FBI analyst. Now he ran unauthorized database queries on an FBI case management system and passed information about American political judgments, anti-terrorist plans, and military actions to his continuing contacts in the Philippines. The queries were unauthorized because they were for information he had no need to know. He sought out information that went far beyond what he needed to do his job. He used that information to betray his adopted country. If Leandro Aragoncillo had asked you for information, would you have asked him why he needed to know? Need to know can be really hard. It goes against our natural instincts and everything that we've been taught about getting along in groups. Breakdowns in applying the need to know principle don't usually stem from deliberate misbehavior. Instead, they arise from people trying to be helpful and cooperative, things we are taught to do from early childhood. Need to know sounds so simple. The need to know principle says that having the clearance for information is only half the issue. The other half is having the need to know. The concern here is not simply the possibility of someone like Mr. Aragoncillo committing espionage, but ensuring that information deemed critical to national security receive the tightest protection. Individuals with authorized access to classified information are required to limit access to that information only to individuals whose clearance and need to know has been verified. The need to know principle dictates that you, as an authorized holder of information, only share the information when two conditions are met. These are, one, the requester has the appropriate clearance and access. Two, the requester needs to know the information in order to perform his or her job functions. When both conditions are met, provide the information. Verifying that the requester has the appropriate clearance is usually straightforward. You see their badge or know that the communication is coming down through channels cleared at the appropriate level. Verifying their need to know, on the other hand, may require some judgment. If it's not clear to you that the requester needs the information, then ask program management. When it comes to need to know, if you are an authorized holder of classified information, it's your responsibility to verify the need to know of anyone you want to share the information with. Applying the need to know principle is a contribution to protecting national security that only you can make. Remember, need to know imposes a dual responsibility on all authorized holders of classified information. Limit your request for information to that which you have a genuine need to know. You may be expected to explain why you need to know it. Refrain from discussing classified information in areas where the discussion may be overheard by persons who do not have a need to know the subject of conversation. If someone asks you for classified information, you are expected to ensure they are cleared appropriately and have an official need to know. You are also obliged to report to your security office any coworker who repeatedly violates the need to know principle.